going ice fishing this morning and uh, I haven't been ice fishing in over 10 years I actually proposed to my wife ice fishing we used to go all the time so I'm pretty excited to go ice fishing and uh, we're gonna try and catch some walleye some perch some crappie and then we're gonna do a catch and cook right Colt yeah, if we catch a lot so Wish us luck, hopefully we can. We're in New Mexico, which I know a lot of people don't think of New Mexico as a place that you can ice fish. But we have quite a few high elevation lakes that do freeze. And uh, they just froze over, so uh, they've only been open for about a week or so for fishing. And Larry went on Monday, today is Wednesday, and they limited out on perch, which is 60 for them. So it'll be 90 for us. So hopefully we have some good luck today. Well, we made it to the lake. It's the second lake. First lake, we fished for about 45 minutes. It's a new lake and it was very, very low. Probably only a quarter of the way full. And we just didn't uh, feel confident there. Larry knows this lake, so we're here with Zach. Say what up, Zach. What's up? Here with Adley. Colton's out there with Larry. So we just made it here. We're just dragging the ice tents out to our spot. Larry's at the spot clearing the snow and uh, we'll be fishing here in about 10 or 15 minutes. Well, you got their heads. We got a couple perch so far. Yeah. We're just figuring it out so once we start uh, figuring out a little bit better we'll start videoing us reeling them in a little bit but Colton's kind of figuring out how to feel the bite and stuff. He's on his pole. So Hadley's got one on her pole. I hooked that one and Colton reeled it in. So now it's time for him to get his own, huh? You guys excited? Yes. We got a couple of them. Okay. Jerk. <laughs> Reel them in slow. Fishing, fishing, fishing. Just them in steady. Fishing, fishing. Ooh, we got a perch. What do you think, Hads? Oh, we're catching fishies. Number five. Yeah. You excited? Look. That's me. <laughs> what do you got, Colt? A fish. Right on. Not too close, buddy. Back up. There you go. We got some yellow perch. We got five now. Daddy. Good job, Hats. Hey. Well, the kids are in the truck getting warm and playing their DSs because they got bored. Fishing was slow, but fishing just picked up. So, seven on the ground over there, but in here, Larry's got a few more. There's fish everywhere in here. Larry, you're the perch master. <laughs> So he's also got this little jiggy, so he can see when the fish are coming up to bite or swimming by, and he oh, can mark and show down. give them a little uh, tease, and then they'll come bite. So they don't even make this one anymore. I told him I'm coming <laughs> coming over here because he's obviously doing a little better than me. I've got seven over there, and he's got I don't even know how many in here. So sixteen, I think. <laughs> let's There's let's eight. get some fish. All right, Larry's hooked up. All right, look at that slab. Good job, Larry. It's kind of been a circus for me with the two kids. They just came back and fished for about five minutes. Now they're going sledding. So Larry's been over here slaying fish while well, I've been babysitting kids. <laughs> okay, this way. Uh oh, somebody's got a fish. Heck yeah! Woo! Ooh, and you got a pig? Got a slammer. I've caught. One since I got in here with Larry, and uh, he's That's got a couple. So, second one there? Yeah, well, I caught one before this one. This is my second. So I know. Heck yeah! I was here for that. There you go. <laughs> All right, till the next one. All right, Larry's got another one. Oh man, another slammer, dude. We're we're reeling in the perch now. Heck yeah, I'm getting a bite over here. I keep getting bites over here. <laughs> oh, nice. Good fight. Oh, nice. I've caught a couple more. Way to go, Larry. Yeah, another slabber. 
He's not that small. Yeah. Big enough. You want it? Yeah. Get your own camera? Yeah. Of course I do. <laughs> Excuse me, man. Got another one. Here we go. That's a good one, dude. Well, the sun's set. It's getting cold. The kids are headed out this way. I got a bucket full of fish. He's getting all oils. He's got a big bucket full. Probably got what? 50, 60 fish? Total? Yeah. At least. Probably 60, 60 plus fish today. And uh, it's dropping temps quick, so we're packing up real fast and uh, heading out. But thanks for a good time, Larry. Anytime. <laughs> That's almost that. Yes, we've made it home, and I'm gonna lay all these fish out. It's a little too late, and now it's 9.30, so we're probably gonna do the cook part of the catch cleaning cook tonight. We'll probably do that in another day. But I got one of these nice boards. Um, you can lift this guy up, it just grabs your fish really good and makes it a lot easier to handle them because they're kind of slippery. Um, I always just take a garbage bag, cut the edges out, Put it down on the counter makes the wife happy and then uh just put them here in the sink rinse them off real good and then we'll get after it so i'll show you guys how i fillet uh one of these fish all right here we go so like i said just pop that up put his little nose right up to about his eyes in there make sure you got a sharp fillet knife just come right in behind this fin here and I like to angle towards the front of this fin here, right up to the top of the back there. And then you gotta get underneath this little, uh, there's a really hard gill plate right here. Get right underneath that. And just kind of cut down, just like that. Once you get to where you can feel that backbone, turn your blade. You're just gonna kind of work right down the blade or work the blade right down the backbone, and you'll feel that backbone. Once you get to about here, you're gonna come right through and keep your blade down along that bone, and then you'll feel the center bone. There's a bone that runs right along the middle of their body, right in the center. So you're gonna pop out right there, Work your way right down. Now I'm pushing down, angling my blade like this towards this tail. Just keep working that back and forth. Gotta get a little bit of tail off of there. That's exactly what you want. Then you're gonna work your way. Here, I'll turn this. Work your way along this piece of meat here. And you'll see the ribs right here. Just kind of come right up the ribs. And eventually, you'll get to that skin. And you just poke it through right there. Run it down. Run it back up. Like I said, they're a little slippery. Just like that. And there's that fillet. Now I'll take this and flip it and do the same thing, but I'll just show you guys this one side. Now I'm gonna take, stick that tail piece right inside like that. I wanna get it towards right on the edge so it doesn't pull out. And if you can get that tail piece to come off with that, and you get all this meat. Work your way right down flat, get it flat, angle once again towards your board and just kind of swipe along just like that and get a beautiful piece of meat nothing left on that skin nice and clean and you just do that to both sides that makes awesome table fare for 
batter it up and fry it, or I like to do Lowry's garlic salt and some pepper, and then just frying pan with butter on the oven or on the stove. So perfect piece of meat for you. So today we're gonna do the cook portion of the video. I'll have to excuse some background noise. Got the whole family here in the house, so I'm sure there will be some. But anyways, just uh, got all the perks that we're not gonna cook up today. Vacuum sealed and taken care of. You can kind of see that right here. Always label your stuff so you know what it is. And uh, I love vacuum sealers just because they keep your stuff fresh forever. So uh, I'll flip you around, kind of show you what I got going on today for cooking, and we'll go from there. All right, so normally I just use like regular panko, um, but we used that up the other night making some uh, fried chicken. So I'm gonna use this Dots pretzel cr uh, crush. And that's what I'm gonna use today. So I do a, about a tablespoon, two tablespoons of milk with an egg or two, depending on how much fish you're doing. I'm not gonna do very much today. Um, when I do larger uh, portions of meat, I'll put these in bread pans and it just makes it a lot easier to mix stuff up. But this is just flour, egg and milk, whatever breadcrumbs, panko, whatever you wanna use there. That's what's gonna go on the fried fish. Um, for the frying pan fish, we're gonna have kosher salt, garlic salt. I like this floury stuff because it has like parsley and stuff inside of it. This stuff is amazing. Um, and then just pepper. And then something I want to show you guys. When I get ready to do my fish, uh, I package them up, but then when I get ready to cook them, I always just fill right down in here. And then right there, I can fill there's two bones right there. And there's a bone right there. So I can take this knife, cut those little bones out of there, and make this as much bone free as I can for the kids and for the family. Just that way they'll really enjoy that and not have bones in their teeth. So I uh, also got three tablespoons of butter. That's gonna go in the frying pan and then we'll season these fish up and throw them in there. So we'll get going with all that. Me personally, I like seasoning, so I'm pretty liberal with it. Get a good coating on both sides of the fish. I already did the other side. So there's my garlic salt. Pepper. Salt. Alright, now as far as these go, we're going to dip one in the egg, get it all the way soaked in the egg, pull it up, let it drip a little bit, put it in this bread or this uh, flour, both sides, kind of push it down in there so it's got a good coating on there. Then we're going to go back in the egg, make sure that you get both sides nice and coated with the egg. All right. And we're going to let it drip again. And then what I like to do is put this on kind of one side of the plate or the bread pan, whatever you're using. So you can take your dry hand and kind of put the crumbles over the top of that. And you're just going to kind of push it down, get it nice and coated on there. And then flip it to the side you just pulled those from and then you can pull from over here. Shake it off a little bit, put it over here on your plate. Now one's ready to fry. So I'm gonna turn this on to about medium temp. Um, just let that pan kind of warm up a little bit for a second before I throw that butter on there. All right, that's pretty warm. Drop these three tablespoons of butter on here. I'm just gonna kind of move them around, kind of coat the whole pan in the bottom here. All right, once they're pretty melted, I'm gonna turn up just a little bit above medium. I want this to be kind of hot, so I'm just gonna sear this fish. I'm gonna move them around like this so that way uh, they don't stick to the bottom of the pan initially. Just kind of let them cook good. Get your butter to kind of move around a little bit. Coats everything, real good and nice. And take some of these thinner pieces off. And cook a little faster. And the other. It's 
looks pretty good to me there. So what I'm gonna do is that. And I'm gonna actually take the butter that's left over, drizzle it over the top. Just get some canola oil or vegetable oil. Put it in until you have about a quarter inch, maybe between a quarter and a half inch. And then turn it up to hot or medium. And then just let that oil get nice and warm for you. And I just used the same pan I just did those fish in. So that butter and garlicky flavor is going to be in there too, which is kind of nice. Um, so we'll just let that get hot enough. It's usually about seven to eight minutes on medium with that depth of oil to get it just right to start cooking that fish. All right, so I got these all breaded. I'm gonna drop them in this oil. Make sure you get yourself a plate with like a paper towel on it. <clears throat> so when you put them on it, all the uh, excess oil can drip off and absorb into that paper, paper towel. I cook them about two to three minutes per side. Probably done there. Pull these ones off. Those look pretty tasty to me. cool down for a minute and then we'll get the taste testers in here. All right, here's the taste testers. Go ahead and taste it, Bridge. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I have, uh, like... You want some help? Yeah. Here. Every time I taste it, it has a tongue. Go ahead and chase them, bud. Try it. You like the pan fried fish better than the fried fish. What do you like better, Colton? Yeah. Which one do you like better though? You like the fried fish better. <laughs> Col Bridger, try this one. Try that and see what, tell me which one you like the best. There, any bones there shouldn't be any bones. Mm -hmm. What one you like better? You like, the, you like them both? <laughs> well, I guess it's a hit guys. So family friendly, kids love it. These two helped us catch these fish so now they get I to eat them one. yeah guess what you got one whole fish right there on your plate bro so you guys want to go catch some more perch do this again mm -hmm. all right i do too you want to go too bud yeah okay we'll try next time okay bud okay. all right we're signing out it's tasty. it's tasty all right have you decided what one you like better yet Okay. Well, mom doesn't want to be on video, but she's not a fish fan at all. But did you like the fish? Delicious. It was a hit. I liked it too. Delicious. Uh, this is the first time I've ever used this Dots pretzel rub. And I gotta say, I'm a fan. So thanks mom. She got me this for Christmas last year. It's taking me that long to try it out, but it's delicious.